you guys. I'm back with a drama video for you guys today. This one is called Millionaire Fakes Being Poor for a Girl. Oh, he fakes being poor for a girl. He lives to regret it, Darman. Interesting. I mean, it's definitely hard when you're poor to fake being rich. So if you're if you're a millionaire pretending to be poor, it's definitely possible. Like you can still pretend to be rich too with like fake stuff and everything. And it, and it could go off as real, you know what I mean? So I guess you, I, de I definitely guess you could like pretend being fake, or sorry, pretend being fake, being poor, fake being rich. So I mean, I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, obviously, but I'm just saying. Interesting. So what? <clears throat> Maybe the girl doesn't like rich guys. Maybe she's like, really against rich guys because normally a millionaire or normally a poor person would pretend to be a millionaire for a girl, you know, because they're a gold digger or something like that, or because they want to go with money, you know. <clears throat> so. Don't mind me, I'm gonna keep be keeping a watch on my phone in case my friend wants to call me, because I know we're supposed to, I just don't know if we, if, if we will or not, so I'm gonna keep an eye out, because I don't want to miss it. If he does call me, if he does, bye guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm choosing him, him over you guys, Sorry, but I don't, I don't think he'll call me, it's like 11.50pm. I think he still, he still should message me in about an hour, but hopefully, whatever. 22 minutes, 12 seconds, so pretty long video. Like not helping me in this case, but you know, it's fine, I guess. So we're going to. Start. So, again, this guy, he, I've seen him in, it, it feels like he's been in a lot of videos, I'm not gonna lie, like, it, recently it just feels like he's been in quite a few. Like, maybe he hasn't, but. It feels like he has been. So don't mind me, I got some juice right here. I might drink it from the bottle because this is all mine. So if you guys see me just like chugging it, it's it's mine, no one else is drinking it, so don't mind. I don't want in the comments, see, just casting you reading it from the bottle. It's only mine, it's fine, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, minor fakes being poor for a girl, let's go. I, all, all I can assume is that the girl doesn't like rich guys. Hi, you must be Griselda. I'm Max Watson, nice to meet you. Griselda? You're late. Oh, well, only by nine minutes. Being late for a date is kind of like, mm, it just kind of bumps the mood out, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you're late, then it's like you obviously didn't care to show, like, unless you're in a car accident, unless, you know, like, there's a life-threatening injury or just something that's, like, actually, you know, bad luck and, like, car accident, you had to wait in traffic for ten minutes. But in that case, you would message, I'm so sorry, I'm in a car accident right now. I got shot, like, I don't know, tell me, like, have a good excuse if you're nine, nine minutes late, you know? If you're nine minutes late because you left late, and then it's like, well, t poor, poor time management skills. Me, that's me. So, yeah, this is already a red flag for her, I guess. I'm sorry. I should have been here on time. I just had an urgent meeting at work. You're not, like, some kind of CEO, are you? Please tell me you're not. Wow. I would figure most women would like a guy that owns his own business. Right? That's what I mean. I'm not most women. Damn. So again, she obviously doesn't like rich guys. She probably thinks you're stuck up and dickish and 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 dicks. So uh, that's probably what that is. Let me just clear this information. Shit, I just muted it. I would figure most women would oh, like a guy that owns his own business. I'm not most women. I feel like rich guys are always like... Oh, uh, hold on a second. Did I order it medium well? No, I did not. I ordered it medium rare. Oh, so he's playing a rich guy. I thought he was fired. Obviously, this was like pre pre film, but like when was this film? Like two months ago? I, the whole Dharma and protest started like about a month ago. So how is he in a video still? Is he, is he not fired or do they take him back or something? I thought Mike was fired. Anyways, he's obviously gonna be a rich guy, and then they'll go, and then then the woman's gonna be like exhibit A. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I can have the chef cook you another one if you... Forget it, all right? I have a meeting with a big client, and you have already taken up enough of my time. That's embarrassing. Take it back, put it in the box. Oh, my God. Take it back. Or I could just tie you in the face, or I could just punch you in the face. Like, which would you rather prefer, sir? Do you want me to knock you in the face, or do you want me to shove that food in your face? Or do you want me to spit your food? I'll do that. Or, or, you know, poison it. Oh my god, what a tragic death that, that would be. And I'll feed it to my dog. Yes, sir, right away. I don't care. Just... Yes, sir, right away. <laughs> no. No. I don't care. Just get... <laughs> no. 
Yes, sir, right away. No. Just get out of here. No. Uh -uh. Yeah, rich guys are always like that. And that's why I don't date them. I see. Not all rich guys. Well, you don't have to worry about me. I just have a little old sales associate job at a finance company. It's actually quite boring, you know? Or you could be honest and say, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like most guys. Please give me a chance. I mean, if it's important, you should definitely take it. No, it's just my assistant. <clears throat> my uh, assistant manager. I have so many mad... No, she already knows, fam. She's already like... Mm-hmm. I just don't lose track of it. Can I get you guys anything? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm going to do the ribeye. And tell the chef you can cook it anyway you'd like. I'm not that picky. Damn. I mean, that was good. I'm, I'm so sorry for pausing it, but I like that because, you know, he made it. Like, he, yeah, that's good. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I had a pretty good time. Sorry for drilling you. My I'm mom drilling. says I'm too direct, which is ironic because I get it from her. <laughs> oh, I love that you're so direct. Uh, it saves a lot of time. So you can thank your mom for me. I sure will. Do, do they mean on so Tinder or something? Or? Same way I always do. Plus. Oh, wow. Do you need a ride? Mm -hmm. I promise I'm not a serial killer. <laughs> Actually, how many hits does it characterize to become serial? I would definitely say more than three. Oh. I'm definitely not a serial killer. Uh, he's like, sorry, I've only killed two. I'm, I'm, I'm not there yet. But you know, you're number three. <laughs> well, darn. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. Look at this Porsche parked over the line. Rich people in their fancy cars are so entitled. Yikes. And he was literally just about to open it too. Oof. Anyways, where did you park? Oh, <clears throat> actually I am um, right around the corner. You know what I just realized? I have to be somewhere, so I'm not going to have enough time to drop you off. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Don't worry okay. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I check this? Yeah. I mean, you can't really say they're entitled just because they park a bit over the line. It's not a big deal. <laughs> like, sometimes I do that. I'm not rich. <laughs> How's my favorite boy in the whole world? Look, I wore a soccer trophy at school today. Oh, you did? Honey, I'm so proud of you. I wish you could be there, Mom. I wish I was, too. I, am. Um... Listen, I'm so sorry, honey, but I, I need to call you back later, okay? And I want to hear all about it. Okay. Okay. I love you. Te quiero. Bye, ma. Te quiero también. Te quiero. Te quiero. That's how you say I love you. T I, oh, te, I te almost Italian, isn't it? Te quiero. Okay. We'll take. Okay. So that was your son that you were telling me about? Yeah. He's my whole world. Uh, I can imagine. And he lives with you, right? Mm. Um. It's uh, it's complicated. He he lives with my mom, who's uh sick right now. And I don't get to see them much. Um, would it be okay if we not talk about this right now? Oh, absolutely. No, I totally understand. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. No, you want food for you and your little creep. You should get a job. It's oh my god, this guy is just. Bro, you need to shut the fuck up. Like you, like you need to get ran over. I'm not even joking. Stop paying for it. You people make me sick. Uh, I'll be right back. Again, you do not know anybody's story. I, do, I mentioned this in another video. In my province, a homeless guy was approached by a girl. They spoke for 25 minutes, and then, and then the next day she offered him a job. And, and, and look how fast his life turned around, you know what I mean? All because of that. Like, you can't just say someone's disgusting because they don't have a job. Like, they could be tough times. They could have had a husband. They could have had a wife. They could have had... But this and that, everyone could have passed away in a car crash, like it, a plane crash, like it could literally be anything. And maybe you don't have like that good of a job and then you lost it because, you know, you couldn't pay bills and or you lost it and then you lost your thing. I, I don't know, like you lost your job somehow. It, like shit happens, you know what I mean? Like, I know somebody who, who was a nurse, who was living life, got into something bad that happened and went downhill. She, she's not homeless, but like she, it's rough, it's, it's rough. I have no idea where she is now, but or how she is now. Oh, she's gonna give her food to them. Is it? Oh. Uh, thank you. My son hasn't eaten all day. You have no idea how much this means to us. You're fine. I'm home. You haven't eaten either. I'll be fine. Let's worry about you, okay? <laughs> Here, you can uh, 
take that. There you go. Hopefully you don't have to spend the night on the street. Hundred dollars. Oh, he's kind of exposing himself though. Great. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you so much. Hundred oh, dollars is a lot of money. You must be a really great salesperson. The best. It's gonna be sad yeah. because like she obviously is really nice and Crystal, he obviously sounds like the perfect match. <laughs> she is. Mm -hmm. There's just uh one little problem. She hates what? me. She hates rich guys. You're telling me there's a girl in LA that doesn't like rich guys? Well, you got a big problem. Because you're loaded. <laughs> but since you told her the truth and she agreed to have a date, it'll be alright. Yeah, about that. You did tell her, right? No. I will. No, look. I just want her to get to know me. You know? And then yeah, she liar. realize that I'm not one of these entitled rich jerks that she dislikes. Hmm. Oh, by the way, um... Yeah, you're already being a liar, so you're already kind of like... take her to next week. Think that's a good idea? Have you bumped your head? No! You can't take a girl to Beverly Hills. Unless you want to think you've got money. And you're not fooling anyone with that. Or this suit, to be honest. You're right. Wow, right, you're a lifesaver. Can I say? I'm always here. But I don't like the fact that you're lying. It's like I always tell my son. The truth will always come out in the end. I mean, you think that she'll never find out? She'll find out. I'm going to tell her. Uh, like, right before... Our three month anniversary, if we make it that far. Look, I gotta go, and you are the best. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, can I borrow your car? Well, then how am I gonna get home? Nah, she's like, okay. Because, you know, I do owe you at least one or two favors, right? You owe me nothing. <sighs> Great. Because I've been wanting to drive a Porsche. But you make sure you tell that sweet girl the truth. Mm -hmm. And soon. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, hell yeah. <laughs> I, I really hope she forgives him in the end for lying. Sure. Like you're telling me that she didn't see that. Like you were, like your head's down. I can still see my laptop screen. Like you can still see. <laughs> roses, roses by the pretty lady. Absolutely. How much for the bouquet? Fifty dollars. Fifty. Stop it. One's enough. One? Yes. Thank you so much. Here you go, enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> He's like, did you tell her yet? Yes. Damn, she really has. Stuff. She really has has his back, making sure he's not going out looking like like he's rich. But again, I really hope that she forgives him in the end because, like, he obviously is, is a really nice guy. It seems like. Like genuine. Yeah, but this one is buy one get one free. I did notice the deals. I won't get one free. I mean, save money, save time. Don't forget the the free one. Oh, good job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this will be beautiful, and you look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh no. Come on. <laughs> He's like, hell no, let's get out of here. <laughs> I think they're at the pawn shop or something. It's a pawn, yeah, pawn shop. And $50. Hey. And so a pawn shop is like, yeah, don't you like sell used jewelry and then bring it there? I don't know. Can you again? I think it's, 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 it's a lot cheaper, obviously. I really like it. Well, I really like you. <laughs> I'll look at it as a... Anniversary gift. Oh yeah, today marks three months, doesn't it? Three months. 
still feel bad you spent so much. We should be saving your money, not spending it all on me. Um, yeah, about that, Griselda. Uh, there's something that I've been meaning to tell you. Okay. Oh no, I'm scared. I'm, a, I'm actually kind of scared because like she seems really nice. He he seems really nice. The only bad thing was that he was nine nine minutes late to the date, but that already may seem to her like, oh, you were nine minutes late. Now you're lying to me. Like, mm, I don't know. When we first met, I said that I was uh, a sales associate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in reality, I'm dot dot dot. It's not gonna show. It's not gonna tell. I'm. I'm I... Wait, hold that. I I wanna. Of course, saved by the bell. Why do I keep muting it, motherfucker? See, he's like, bro. Like, I hate when this happens, because this always happens so coincidentally at this time. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, spit it out, bitch. And then, of course, the phone rings, and then after the phone rings, or, or after she hangs up, or she, he's not going to tell her. Uh, hi, honey. Uh, hola, ma. Uh, grandma wants to talk to you. Hola, mijas. Como estas? <laughs> hey, mom, you don't sound so good. Are you okay? Hi, mija. No te preocupes por mí. Cuéntame de ti y de tu chico. Um, he's actually right here. Hi. Hi, I'm Maxwell. Oh, I've heard great things about you, and I have to say, you did an incredible job raising your daughter. <laughs> Thank you so much. It is nice to meet you, Maxwell. Who's that man, Mommy? Um, this is Mommy's, um... Boyfriend. Um, your mom's boyfriend. And me and my boyfriend are on a date, so I'm gonna call you back later. And I really love you guys so much, okay? <laughs> uh, okay. The kid's like, what the fuck, you have a boyfriend? Bye bye, mom, to get off. It's really not the same. Talking to them over the phone, I really miss them. I don't mean to pry, but I just wanted to ask. Like, where are they? Why aren't you? Where are you with them? Uh, that's a really long story. I don't feel ready to talk about it with you. But I don't want you to think I'm keeping secrets, okay? Oh, uh, no. I wasn't thinking that at all. Okay. Um, oh, now what did you want to say? Were you going to tell me something about your job, I think? No, no, it's not important. It's uh -huh. not important. I don't remember. You were. It's not been important. But you know what is important? Are we going to have our anniversary dinner tomorrow? Yes. If you keep but playing it off, it's not good. Bad. The longer you lie, the longer Maybe you're... Maybe instead of going out to eat, we could cook at home, save some money. It will be more special. How about your place? You want to come to my place? Mm -hmm. Thanks. I don't think that's such a good idea. It's a horrible idea. I know, I know. But I told her my place was a complete mess and we couldn't bring her here. Hey, are you insulting my work? <laughs> squeaky clean. No. <laughs> I know it's squeaky clean. You're doing an amazing job, you know that. <laughs> She's like, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I just can't show her how I... It's funny because now she's a cleaner and I remember before, I'm pretty sure that's the same actress that was like, Erica, Erica, try and clean. Like, I'm pretty sure she was the same that was saying all that shit. And now look who's cleaning. Lit. But you said you were going to tell her within three months. Yep. You lied already. You lied I again. Tried. You lied again. And I got scared. You tried. You could have told her within those three months at any time. Oh, by the way, I'm rich. It takes th two seconds. But don't worry. I promise... Tonight's tonight. Mm-hmm. You promised, and then it's not gonna happen. You won't believe this, my apartment flooded. Can we do a replace? I don't care about the mess. Oh. Woo. Now you're gonna have to, have to tell Everything her now. okay? No. You're gonna have to tell her now. The place flooded. Ooh. Now she, she's suggesting to come here. I'm just gonna... I'll just tell her, uh... The we'll truth? Go out. You know, if you were honest, you wouldn't be in this situation. Damn. Well, if I was honest, then I wouldn't be with her. At all. Too soon. That is true. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you hiding something? Do you have a wife at home? Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Oh. Do you have a wife at home? I don't know though. Yikes. Oh. oh my gosh. I am hiding something, she but. She thinks hmm. that I'm trying to hide a wife here. <laughs> what? I mean, there, what there, do? There, there's a girl right there. Tell her. I can't tell her. You just said it right there to me. Face to face. And tell her face to face. What can I do? do? Look, you Go don't pick really her up. have a choice. Go pick her up. If she sees this place, she's gonna know you're not a sales associate. It's not like you have some crappy apartment like my place. <laughs> 
Oh, about that. Can I borrow your place and pretend it's my house? Like, bro, you keep lying. This is this is what's going to make you lose her. This right here is what's going to make you lose her. And I already feel bad because I know you're going to lose her. 20 minute video and this is only 12 minutes. Oh, oh my god. I better shut, I better shut up. Your place. No. Let me borrow your place for tonight. Not, not even tonight. I just need it for a few oh, hours. Oh, absolutely not. There's no way. No, how? I'm a principled person. I have values and morals and ethics. And you know what? I would never stoop down to your level and mislead this beautiful young lady. There's no I would double your salary this month. Be out before I get home. Be <laughs> Just be out before I get back. 9 p.m. the latest. You have to tell her the truth or else I'm never going to help you again. I'm serious. He's never going to tell her. He's never. <laughs> like, you literally, like, why? My dude, like, why are you doing this? Like, I just don't get it. Like, you could have picked her up and said, okay, so we're gonna go to my place, but I have something to tell you. I really wanted to be, be with you, so I lied to you about me being rich. I'm actually rich, and I have, like, and I have that Porsche, and I have, you know, all this stuff, and then, I don't I don't know how, I, I, I'm, I'm honestly a crossroaded. I don't know how this is gonna end up. I don't know if she'll forgive him or not. Can I get that for you? Yeah. I really hope that she Thank sees. I really hope that she sees how nice he is, and that, and that she'll still be, be be with him. It's been a really special anniversary. Oh, but I, oh, but I might be like because I have a big surprise for you. I think you're really gonna like it too. Really? Yep. But first, dessert. Mmm. Well, I can't wait for my surprise. So let's get some bowls. Bowls? Yes. Okay. You don't know where you keep your bowls? I, um, just, I misplaced it. Time to... Time... Bowls. Thank you. And I will take a spoon. Ooh. Right, where, yeah, where are those at? You want me? You don't know where your spoons are? No, I, I have them. Here, I'll help. Uh, Here they are. Uh, um. Who's Christina Jackson? Uh, oh, no. They they're always getting the address mixed up. It's so weird. You have a wife and a kid. This is why you didn't want me to come here. No, it's not what it is, I swear. Well, then you better tell me what's going on before I walk out that door. Oh, okay. Mm, oh, no. Okay, I will. I Just don't get mad. There is something that I have to tell you. But it's not what you think. It's not. I'm not married. I don't have a kid. The woman is Christina and she's my maid. This is her apartment. And I know that I told you uh, I'm a sales associate. But the truth is, I'm a CEO of a company. So you've been lying to me since the moment we met? No, that wasn't my intention. I just thought that if you found out that I had some wealth, that you wouldn't give me a chance. But I knew that if you just got to know me, you would realize that not all people with money are bad. You think you're proving that to me right now? You know how I feel about secrets. Oh, come on. You've been keeping secrets from me this whole time. What about your son? Huh? And your mom? Why don't they live with you? Look, don't go around acting like you're this perfect little angel. Thanks. You want to know why my family was separated from me? Fine, I'll tell you. You see? This is already going very rocky, very south, my dudes. Oh, this is not good. A while ago, I was on a student visa and not allowed to work. So my mom was fully supporting Frankie and I. She was the hardest worker I knew and the most loyal. The company my mom worked for was getting ready to go public. And while they gave all their top executives big bonuses, a lot of the bottom level employees got fired. Wow, well, why would you do that? Including my mom. What? Just so the company could make their books look better. After years of loyalty, they treated her as she was just nothing. That is so fucked up. After that, we really struggled. Since my mom was on a work visa. Like, how do you basically cut off all your employees that got you to where you were? Like, sorry, you're, like, you're an old, old disgusting face now. We need a new be beautiful face. Bitch, fuck you. And that company was her sponsor. 
it was a son of work he struggled since my mom was on a work visa and that company was her sponsor it was hard for her to get other jobs we used up all of our savings and we fell behind on bills mm. things got so bad that a lot of the days there wasn't even food in the fridge so my mom decided that the best thing to do was to move back to our old family home. She even took Frankie with her. I wanted to go with them so bad, but she wanted me to stay in hopes of giving me a better life. I remember crying so hard that day and promising that no matter what, one day, I'd had enough to bring them back. So you see, I didn't keep it from you because I wanted to keep secrets. I kept it from you because it is incredibly hard to do that. So yes, they were both keeping secrets, but obviously hers is a lot more sensitive and a lot more emotional than his is. Oh, I'm rich. Like, you know what I mean? Like, hmm. And this, this is exactly why I don't trust rich people. Oh no. Look, I'm sorry that you and your family had to go through that. But that's one person. I would never treat my employees like that. Hmm. I'm supposed to believe that. Why? Our entire relationship is based on a lie. So please don't. Hey. Are you okay? Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna switch it around. She's gonna explain that, no, he actually is a really good boss. And then she'll be like, okay, fine, I'll give you another chance. I really hope that's what happens here. That's your apartment up there, isn't it? You shouldn't work for that man. He's a liar. Don't say that. Maxwell's a good man. He isn't. He's just like the rest of them. You'll see. Damn. That's not true. No, you can't say that, though. You just don't know him like I do. He's different. Chloe well, isn't. All rich people are exactly the same. All they care about is themselves. See, that's where you're wrong. You can't just assume that. <clears throat> I fully understand why you think that, because a lot probably are. A lot probably are. Because they're like, you know what? I have money. I can treat anyone how I want to. Some people most likely are like that. And maybe a lot are. I don't know. I don't know anyone rich. Um, I don't know anybody rich, so I mean, I don't know how they are. I don't know how they be. You know what I mean? Like I don't know how the, how these rich guys are, or rich girls. I have no idea. But some, I, de I, I definitely can say that at least one or two in the world are good or decent. Yeah, sorry about that. My mom woke up, so um. I knew she'd probably start yelling at me if I had to just so loud, so starting again. But yeah, basically you can't just assume that all rich guys are dicks. I mean, a lot probably are, I'm not gonna not deny that, but I guarantee there's at least one or two good ones. Hold on, I can show you, okay? I have a son just like you. His father and I, we didn't work out. He didn't treat me well. And he went and hired a high power attorney to try to get custody of my son. I didn't have a lawyer, and I just knew I was going to lose that case. I was so worried. But Maxwell, at the last second, swooped in and got me the best representation without me even asking. Not only did I win, he refused to let me pay him back. He did? He did. And he also helped my son graduate from college. Oh. First one in our family. Congratulations. Thanks. Couldn't have happened without Maxwell. You know, last year, I needed surgery, and I couldn't afford it. But Maxwell, he used his own money to pay my medical bills. And again, without me even asking him. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. Wow. Listen. I know 
that lying to you was wrong. I told him that. He's got a big heart. And he loves people deeply and will do anything for people in need. Please, just give him another chance. Zelda. Please, don't go. I know what I did was wrong. If you just give me one more chance, just one more chance, I promise I will never lie to you ever again. But Christine, you have warned me. Truth will always come out in the end. I'm sorry that I didn't listen to her. I'm sorry that I kept all these secrets from you. It was just one. What you did was wrong. And you hurt me. A lot. What? But I think I understand why you did it. I want to give us another chance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but listen to her from now on. <laughs> Facts. Facts. You said you were gonna double my time? <laughs> Go on and triple it. <laughs> He's like, oh fuck. <laughs> don't act like you don't got it. <laughs> Give him my keys. I'm tired. Honestly, this girl kills me. Like, honestly, she was such a biatch in, in the first video that I see, I see her in, but she's honestly killing me in this video. I, I love her now. She's great. But she's funny, sarcastic. She's I love it. Okay. I love it. She's funny. She, she's great. Uh, I love her now. I don't believe that they got reunited as well. Mm, that was such a sweet video. That, that was actually a really good video. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that was actually a really good video. Um, I like how it turned out. I'm glad that she gave him another chance. Like, I'm actually really glad that she gave him another chance because I was actually like really worried that she wasn't going to. And um, I knew they work. Like, they work, he's really nice, and he would then she would have lost a really good guy because, again, he, 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 he did lie. But at the same time, honestly, it was for a good reason. Like, she basically said, I hate rich guys. It's like, oh, I'm rich. Okay, bye. You know what I mean? Because then you're just going to assume. Even at the end. Even at the end. <clears throat> I, w I will say what she was wrong for. In the end, she literally said, she literally still acted like he was a dick. Even though he was so nice to her the whole time. Yes, he lied. Yes, he parked bad in the Porsche. And yes, he was nine minutes late. So yes, he did kind of fuck up a, a, a little bit. But no one's perfect. Rich guys, poor guys. Rich girls, poor, poor girls. No one's going to be... Perfect. No one. So the fact that he tried so hard, he was so nice, he proved, he proved himself, although he lied, he still proved that he's a nice guy. You know? And honestly, the, the maid basically saved their relationship, otherwise there would be nothing else. You know? So... Yeah, honestly, that's, that, that, that's really sweet that he got... The, the mom and kid back. I don't know if, if that's just to like visit or if they're gonna live together again, if he's gonna help her financially and get it all fixed up. I don't I have no idea exactly, but oh, that was a good video, man. That was such a good video. Um, I don't know what else to say, guys. Just ob ob obviously, honesty is the best policy. I think your man's sending mixed signals here because he's basically saying don't lie, but if he didn't lie in the first place, he may have never had the girl. So, in a sense, he lied to get the girl. Which wasn't right, but if he didn't lie, then he wouldn't have the girl. Right? Because right away she'd be like, oh, you're rich, don't buy, and then the maid wouldn't have been there to save him, right? <laughs> so, he lied for good reason. He definitely should have told her like a day later. Uh, after they at least had a date or something, and then, but uh, even after three months, she didn't believe it. So, honestly, I do have some kind of like doubts on the girl too, because she was kind of being like, oh yeah, all rich guys are the same. Like, no one's the same. All, all poor guys are the same, all average guys are the same, all rich guys are not the same either. You can't just assume that, you can't. Because by, by assuming that, you'll lose a really good guy. That you that may have been poor, rich, etc. Like, you'll lose a really good guy, like, thinking that way, right? 
So with that being said, that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to comment down below what you guys thought of this video. And uh, be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications for more videos just like this because this was a really good one. Um, and again, just be honest. Be honest if you can. If, if you're rich and they hate poor, uh, if they hate rich guys and you're rich, well then, I guess tell a little white lie. <laughs> According to Darman, he's basically saying lie, but be honest after. And then hope you have, have a mate to, uh, to back you up. So lie only if you have someone to back up your, your story. So if I'm if, if I'm rich and I'm dating someone, and then they dump me because after like three months I told them that I was rich and stuff, I gotta make sure that I have a mate, I have like a, a worker that really values me, that's like super, that's that really has my back and says, you know, he's, he's actually really nice, right? Like Damien's actually a really good guy, right? So only lie in that case. And the other, other, other case, be honest and hope for the best. Plus, I don't think you want a girl that's going to be just dropping you just because you're rich. Honestly, it's good she's not a gold digger. It's great she's not a gold digger. Just like this girl right here, a gold, uh, gold digger, shame's got a bar. But, um, you know, like, it's good she's not a gold digger, but, like, at the same time, she's kind of still judging. She's judging all the rich guys based on that one rich guy that we saw that was a douchebag. Like, what if he was nice? And then would she say, oh, yeah, yeah, and maybe all rich guys are nice? Like, no. Some are nice, some are poor, or some are nice, some are assholes. Same, uh, same with po uh, poor ho ho homeless people too. Some are dicks and some are really nice. Same, uh, same with average. Some are mean, some are nice. You can't just assume everyone's the same. You can't, you can't. Again, you, uh, you lose a really good person that way. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment down below, and subscribe. And turn on post notifications for myself and Darman. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Deuces. Peace.